Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting a new project pan for 2019. So no, like I said in my finale for my 2018 project, I am not doing 19, that is just too many. I definitely could have done nine, but I thought that I could do a little bit more than that. So I'm just doing 12. It's not really like a whole rhyming thing, unfortunately, but you know, it's all right. And by the way, if you didn't see my finale for my 2018 project, make sure and check that one up above if you were interested. But I'm excited about this one for this year because I feel like I made really good choices. I picked things that I felt like are attainable goals. <laughs> of course, some of these things I'm hoping to finish up. Some of them I'm hoping to just pan. But I do feel like I have, you know, one thing for each category, not every single category in my makeup routine, but I don't have like multiples in categories, which I think is something that I did wrong for my project last year. So I definitely learned a lot from that project and it helped me choose better for this year, I think. And for some of these that are like very close, there's only one that's like really, really close. But if I make really good progress and I reach my goal and it's at least maybe halfway through the year, then I might switch something else in to just you know, try and do something else, try to reach another goal. But I'm really hoping to hit all of my goals this year, so we will see. I will do a few different updates throughout the year, but let me know if you have any feedback because I've seen I've seen project panning go in a couple different ways. The way that I did it last year, which I've seen other people do, is I did sort of quarterly updates. So I would do sort of like three updates throughout the year, and then of course the finale. But I've seen other people do them monthly. Um, I could do it every other month. So let me know if you want to see an update more frequently than the three, you know, and then the fourth one being the finale uh, throughout the year. I liked doing it that way, but if you'd like to see, you know, updates more, more often, then just let me know down below. So the first one, and I, by the way, I am wearing everything from this project on my face today. I just finished filming a get ready with me with these products. This is this video is going up first though. So stay tuned for the get ready with me, but I did film um, a video using all of these products. So they're all on my face. <laughs> so the foundation that I have in this project is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this foundation. And yes, it is a foundation, even though it's called a CC Cream. As you can see, I love it very much. Um, I have mine in the shade light and I'm pretty close on this one. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you think that you're like really, really close with the foundation and you have like way more to go. So if I do pretty, if I finish this off super quickly, then I may add in a different foundation just to try, but I just am hoping to finish this one up just because it is getting really close and because I don't know, I have other foundations that I do like better, even though I do really love this. I would consider getting it again in the future, but I, just have other things that I like more. And I have to be careful with this one because if you wear this in flash photography, it does have major flashback. And even though I don't have that situation super often, it's just something to remember. And I've had that happen to me before, believe it or not. <laughs> so, you know, if I don't know what I'm doing for sure, and I don't know for sure if there's going to be a picture taken, I just would rather stay away from it. And so I have other ones that I know I don't have to worry about that with them. So, I'm just hoping to use this up and I don't use a ton of foundation. I, you know, I used only a pump on my face today. So it might actually take me a little bit to finish this up. So we'll see, we'll see how quickly it happens. Stay tuned. The next thing I have is a concealer. This is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's waterproof in the shade Light Neutral. I do not really think that this is full coverage. It's pretty close, but I do have a corrector on underneath because I don't feel like this is totally full coverage. This concealer is just okay. I don't absolutely love it, which is why I put it in here because it's it's wearable, like I can use it, but it's just not one that I absolutely love, but I don't hate it enough to like return it or anything. And there's not a whole lot of product in here, so it actually might be, go pretty quickly for me. So we'll see. I do know a lot of people that love that concealer though, so that may just be me. I just feel like it's a little bit too dry. Like if I look up close, it's it looks fine like from this distance, I think, but if you look up close, you can kind of see it's a little dry. So then I have a powder, just a face powder. I don't have that on underneath my eyes, but for the rest of my face, I do. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I have mine in the shade NC20. It's a really nice powder. I, I would really like to use this up, but my goal, I would say, is to hit pan. I think if I do hit pan pretty quickly, then I'll say that I'd like to finish it up, but I don't know. 
Is it too much of a challenge to try and use this up? I do have quite a bit of a dip in there and I definitely might hit pan pretty quickly. So we'll see, I might be able to use this up. I'm not totally sure. I definitely was able to use up the mineralized skin finish last year, but I feel like I had maybe less product in that one than I do in this one right now. I don't know, we'll see. I, I'd like to use this one up, so I don't know. Then I have a contour powder. This is the NYX Taupe Blush. Um, so it's technically one of their HD blushes, but it's definitely a contour shade, as you can see. So I'm hoping to finish this up. Um, it is very powdery, and you can see it even, like, cracked a little bit there. But I have, I just have other contour powders that I like better, so I'd like to use this one up, and I'm getting there. So we'll see. I don't need a lot of this, so that's the challenge. But it is pretty powdery. Like, there's definitely a bit of kickback, so... It's doable, so we'll see how I do with that. I have this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and I hit pan on this fairly recently, and so I feel like, I don't know, once you hit pan on something, it feels like it's much easier to use it up, and so I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this up. It's definitely gonna be a challenge, but I do like this bronzer, so I think that, that will make it easier. Then I have a blush. So I have this Wet n Wild blush, the In Pearlescent Pink. This, this is in their old formula, old packaging, and, I mean, there's maybe like a little bit of usage there. I've used this plenty, but you know, you don't need a lot of this. It's pretty pigmented. It is definitely powdery, but still pigmented. So again, might be a little bit of a challenge. I don't know, and it's hard to hit pan on a blush, but I do feel like this goes with a lot and it definitely goes really well with the eyeshadows that I've chosen. So I'm hoping, cause this has been in my collection for a while. And like I said, they have a new formula. So I'd like to use that up if I can. Hit pan, I mean. <laughs> Then for highlighter, I have the Bomb Mary Luminizer here. And this is my oldest highlighter, which is the main reason why I wanted to add this in because it's just, I mean, I love this highlighter, but I've had it in my collection for a long time and I just feel like I should make a little bit more progress with it. And I feel like it will go with everything, which is another good reason to put it into this project pan. I have a good dip in it, so I feel like I should be able to hit pan on this pretty quickly. We'll see though, you never know. You don't need a lot of this. It's very pigmented, but I love this highlighter. I would definitely repurchase this if I ever used it up, which of course would take forever, but I love this one. It's one of the oldies, but really amazing. Okay, then I have a brow product. I have this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. It's one of the like triangle shape ones. And I, I like this. It's really very nice. It's just not my absolute favorite. Um, it's a little bit darker than I'd prefer. And I don't know, it's just not my favorite. And so I just would like to use it up. Uh, let's see how much I have in here. Um, I need to like mark some of these things, I think, or just kind of show you and take a screenshot. <laughs> uh, so that's how much I have right now. Let's maybe get up close here so you can see. I think that I should be able to finish that up this year for sure. I don't know how soon, but I should be able to finish it up pretty easily. All right, so then I have two eyeshadow things. One is just a little eyeshadow duo. This is from NARS. It's in the shade, I will put it down below. I don't know how to pronounce that. They don't carry this one anymore, which is really sad because it's beautiful, but I wanna finish this up. I've had it for a long time and I don't know. It's just time, it's just time to use it up. So. Um, I have this darker shade right here on my lower lash line, by the way. It's just beautiful. I, I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It will be sad to use it up, but I think it's just time, you know? And then for my main eyeshadow palette, I have the Lorac Pro Palette, the original Pro Palette. And for some reason, I just never reach for this. I don't know why. It's such good quality. I have it on my eyes, of course, today. It's beautiful. So many good options here. I feel like I will be able to use this a ton because there's so many looks I can create with this, so many different types, whether they're soft looks, whether they're dark and smoky, cool tones, a little bit more neutral warm tones, more neutral than warm, but you've, you know, you've got that shade right there, Garnet. So lots of options in here. I mean, there's not a lot of like dents in these, but, they're pretty powdery, so I think, you know, for that reason, I should be able to, to do it. And I was able to do it with my Too Faced Natural Eyes last year, which is way harder to pan. Too Faced shadows are like really hard. And so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do this. This is the one of the oldest palettes in my collection. And so I just felt like it'd be a good one to add in this and lots of everyday shades for me. So that is that. And then for lip products, I have the Tom Ford lipstick, which I have on top of a lip liner today in the shade Spanish Pink. Let me do a little 
picture of that for you right there. So, um, I just don't love this lipstick, but I feel like I want to be able to use it up because it's Tom Ford. I didn't buy it. It was a credit, but nevertheless, I have it. And so I'd like to at least mostly use it up. I mean, I, the goal is to use it up for this project, but I just want to at least get my money's, well, I didn't spend my money on it, but you know what I mean? I want to, I want to make it worth it because these things are ridiculously expensive. And then I have a lip gloss, which I have on today as well. The Bare Sparkle Lip Gloss from Bobbi Brown. I just don't love these lip glosses. It's not my favorite formula. And I figure it's a mini, so it should be pretty easy to use up. And it's a very everyday kind of shade. It can go over basically any lipstick. Definitely lots of nudes, especially the Tom Ford one, but really lots of lipsticks as well. All right, everyone. So that is it for my intro for my 2018. How many times is that going to happen? <laughs> All right, everyone, so that is it for my 2019 Project Pan 12 products for this year. I know, I'm sorry, that isn't like a fun, like 18 products in 2018, 19 products in 2019. I totally could have done nine products in 2019, but I think that this is a good amount of products. I'm excited about it. I think that I'm gonna do really well. I'm feeling positive. I know this is like the start of the year, so of course I'm feeling positive, but I feel good about it. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think I made some good choices? Which one do you think is gonna be the easiest for me? Probably besides the foundation, cause duh. Um, <laughs> but which product do you think is gonna be the hardest for me to pan? You let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're doing any panning this year, if you're doing a year long project or just lots of mini ones, I'd love to hear about them. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time.